Hello everyone, how are you doing today? And how is 2022 so far with you? And by the way, I missed you guys. This video is my report about what happened in Dubai real estate industry in 2021, on the full year of 2021. And now let's start the number show. And I promise they will be really impressive. Again, I will take my laptop just to see exact numbers and let's begin. Last year, property market was just outstanding. 2021 broke a 12 years record in terms of real estate sales transactions. And the value for these transactions was 150 billion dirhams sold throughout the year. The total number of real estate sales transactions were also the highest since 2013. Overall, 2021 was a phenomenal year for Dubai real estate market with trends and figures that have not been seen in the past eight years. So, Dubai real estate had a total sales with mortgage and gifts over 83,953 transactions in 2021, with worth almost 300 billion dirhams. The value of these transactions is the highest it has ever been recorded in Dubai real estate market just in one year. If we compare it with the year of 2020, uh, the volume of transactions grew by 66% and the value of transactions grew by 72%. Now let's move into more details and I will share with you the volume of properties were bought for cash and for mortgage. So here in this chart you can see sales of existing properties and of plants people bought for cash. Uh, and the uh, total transactions is 60,897 and the worth for these properties is 150 billion dirhams. Even the mortgage market in 2021 experienced a record-breaking year uh, as total number of mortgage transactions uh, registered with Dubai Land Department uh, reached 19,506, exceeding the previous highest figures recorded back in 2017 by 26%. And in gifted properties were 3,550 transactions with total worth of 21 billion dirhams. Now let's see what were people buying more, ready properties or off-plan properties. In 2021, 59% of all transactions were for secondary ready properties and 40% were for off-plan properties. When we look at the volume of sales transactions, the off-plan market transacted 24,761 properties, worth of total 45.5 billion dirhams. And the secondary market transacted 36,480 properties, with a total of 105 billion dirhams. This is also the highest secondary real estate transactions since 2008. Now, 2021 compared to 2020 showed an increase of 74% in sales transaction volume and increase of 110% in value. But you can say that in 2020 all the world faced a decrease because of lockdowns and so. Uh, to put it in perspective, uh, when we compare to pre-COVID times such as 2019, 2021 showed an increase of 55% in volume and increase of 90% in uh, terms of value. And for you to understand better where the real estate market is moving in Dubai, I have made another table. Uh, here I compared the final numbers of the last five years. And you can see that 2021 had the highest numbers among all last five years. When I talk about the numbers and the percentage, you can't really feel how many properties behind these numbers. The number of transactions on this table stands for the number of homes sold on each area. Now I will tell you about the most demanded areas and projects in last year and how many apartments and villas were sold on these areas. The highest number of sales in terms of value were in Burj Khalifa area with total worth of 8.8 .8 billion dirhams with 2,574 transactions. To clarify, Burj Khalifa area is also known as downtown, 
with many high-rise buildings near Dubai Mall. The most sales here did MR properties in Opera District with uh, projects like Il Primo, Grande, Act 1, Act 2, uh, the address residences Dubai Opera. The highest number of transactions was in Business Bay with 4,401 in total with 6.6 .6 billion dirhams. The most transacted projects in this area are Al Habtur City from Al Habtur Group, SLS, uh, Dorchester Collection from Omniyat, and Regalia from DR. The second most valuable area is Palm Jumeirah. Here is the total worth of 7.9 billion dirham with only 1,675 transactions. The biggest sales here did the Royal Atlantis Resort and Residences with 155 transactions with total value of 2.1 billion dirham. And one from Omniyad, 40 transactions with uh, 879 million dirhams. In fact, I have video tour on both of these projects, so you can have a look at them after this video. In medium level areas price-wise, the most demanded was GVC, which is Jumeirah Village Circle, with 3,443 transactions and value of 2.1 billion dirhams. Now let's have a look in villas and lands sales progress. And just reminding you, this is the report for the whole 2021 year. The top master development in villas in terms of value was Dubai Hills from MR with 1,362 transactions. It was followed by Tilal Alhar, 1,469 transactions, and the Mac Hills, which had 1,243 transactions. Okay, now let's move to commercial units. The most popular areas for commercial units were Business Bay and Jumeirah Lake Towers. From the chart here, you can see that there is a big gap between these two areas and all others in both terms, in uh, sales value and volume. It's clearly make Jumeirah Lake Towers and Business Bay areas leaders in commercial properties market. Okay, moving to commercial lands. In 2021, the most wanted commercial land was Jebel Ali first with 495 transactions and total worth of 1.4 billion dirhams. And the most valuable area was Palm Jumeirah with total worth of 5.49 billion dirhams with only 308 transactions. It is always the beachfront lands and properties are more expensive, even if the sizes are smaller. Now, little information for those of you who is curious about the rental market. The most popular areas for rent in affordable prices segment were in Jumeirah Village Circle, Al Nahta, Mirtif, Dubai Silicon Oasis, and Akoya Oxygen. High demand for affordable villas was also noted in Mirtif, followed by Akoya Oxygen and GVC. Rim and Dubai South also reported increase in rental values. According to Zoom Property, Dubai Marina, Downtown, Jumeirah Beach Residence, Palm Jumeirah and Al Barsha were the most popular areas in the high-end category in 2021. For the luxury villa category, uh, most of the Dubai tenants preferred the Jumeirah area, while Al Barsha, Um Sukim, Dubai Hills Estate and Arabian Ranches remained other popular choices. The study shows that rent continued to increase for both segments for apartments and for villas, recording a 3% rise in apartments and over 20% increase in villas on average last year due to strong demand for larger houses after the pandemic times. Rental went up to 40% in some of the popular areas such as Dubai Hills and Arabian Ranches due to high demand. Now I will share with you the major news and changes that took place in real estate industry in 2021. And once again, I will repeat that the last year was one of the best and most profitable years in Dubai's property market. Uh, thousands of apartments, villas, plots were selling every day all over the country. Overseas investors now determining the growth of Dubai real estate. The market in 2021 attracted a total number of uh, 52,415 investors. And uh, 38,318 of that number were for new investors, for first-time buyers, uh, which make it more than 50%. New investors closed in total 51,544 deals with a value over 99 billion dirham. Likewise, 8 out of 10 mortgage borrowers in UAE are the first-time buyers as well. 
Report Mortgage Finder processed home loans for buyers from more than 60 different countries in 2021, with the nationals from Australia, France, India, South Africa and the UK being in the majority. The report has attributed the positive impact on the home loans market in the UAE Central Bank initiative in March 2020, which reduced down payment requirements for first-time buyers to 20% for residents, expats and 15% for UAE nationals. Another news here is that we are having a new source to study market conditions. Dubai Land Department and John Lang Sal, a leading global property consultant, launched the first Dubai Commercial Property Price Index (CPPI) at the Cityscape Global in 2021. In addition, it will allow investors to monitor commercial market performance when making investment decisions and portfolio management. Developer Nahil served an eviction notice to residents of Jebel Ali village. Jebel Ali village is located just off Sheikh Zayed Road near Ibn Battuta Mall and it is one of the Dubai's oldest residential communities. This community has around 290 homes which were constructed in 1977. Developers said that it will redevelop this community in a bit uh, to preserve and enhance its longevity for many more generations to come. UAE developers are topping the list again. Forbes Middle East has unveiled its top 50 real estate uh, developers in MENA 2021 list featuring companies that have delivered some of the most significant projects in the region this year. MR Properties topped the list with the total assets valued at $34 billion as of the end of September 2021. It is one of the largest publicly listed real estate companies by assets in GCC. Abu Dhabi-based Aldar Properties placed second with $11.3 billion total assets as of September 2021. This deal is demonstrating not only the strength of Dubai real estate market, but its attraction as a key regional and global investment hub. Another report highlights that 37,000 new residential units were delivered in Dubai last year. And we are expecting this year uh, similar numbers as well. Seems like 2022 going to be even more interesting. Anyway, I will be here to share with you all essential updates that you should know related to property market. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. Uh, you know that your feedback is helping me to see your interests better. Let's share in comment section what was the best thing happened to you in 2021? So we can all remember our best moments and be happy for each other. Love you all and see you soon.